today what I'm going to do is continue with the restoration of the Amiga 500 and do the electronic side of it and that is recapping this thing uh, because last time, the last week, uh, what I did was the actual casing of it and it was the reason why I did that and uh, I will uh, link that in the description below or the letter I here, here, whatever the f whichever corner it is um, but yeah that I would urge you to kind of you know, check out first, so this will make sense. And what I'm, you know, the little update, a little follow up, which I'm gonna say will make more sense. So, let's get started with this and take this apart. These um, nothings here. Okay, and let's get started. So before I actually start recapping this, I'm going to show the quirks this Amiga has. Um, you know, sometimes it doesn't, you know, boot up. Um, I mean, just like now I've put the Avenger demo disc in, which I've put in, you know, a few times. I've been using it on this and it's just frozen at the beginning. It just like stuff like this tends to happen. Uh, sometimes it doesn't even come reach the screen. It just like freezes at the, you know, slightly dimmer screen and then that's it. Sometimes when you turn it on, it gurus straight away, you know, things like this. Okay, like this. I just noticed that just happened. So, it's a bit quirky, this Amiga. I'm not sure what's up, what's up with it. Like down. It's just gurud. At times it will be fine, sometimes it will... Okay, every single time it's guruing now. Yeah, it loads down. The last time I did it, it just didn't load, it just started the black screen. So what I'm going to do is, you know, after recapping this, I'm going to start... <laughs> I'm going to start, um, what you call it, doing a few of these tests again. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding that amusing, I just am. Um... I can recognize games by their loading sound, the disk drive sound. <laughs> I seriously need to recap this freaking Amiga, it's annoying the freak out of me! Crash after crash! Those of you who keep saying recapping is not required, eat this! Okay, so what I wish to do first is actually add fresh solder to the capacitors which I wish to remove. Uh, and of course give it a bit of a scrub down with IPA because it looks like it needs it in some places. So need the anti-static or ESD safe brush. Let's start over here. These two since they're nice and easy. And they're gonna be these two. The 3300 First capacitor replaced, and yeah, you can bend it anywhere you like. You know, it's just to fold it around, and uh, you know, I can even twist it and just yeah. There you go, it's replaced. Oh, ye of little faith! I wonder how many inner volcanoes that could erupt in. <laughs> yep, nice and solid. So don't worry, or sorry to disappoint, depending on how you're viewing this video. <laughs> so let's continue going along the board. So let's do a little bit of a follow-up, shall we, on 
in a video which I did last week, which seems to have caused quite a stir and quite an interesting stir. <laughs> So first of all, let's start with the clarifications, right? People have started saying, you know, well, some people are saying, you know, oh, you're anti-retro pride, you're blah, 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 you're anti, whatever, you know, actually, no, I'm not. I have congratulated in the past, congratulated people who have done retro pride and got good results. If someone comes to me and says, oh, I did a retro pride, I don't care which freaking YouTubers done it, which big YouTubers done it, and I don't care. If someone comes to me and says, you know, oh, they've done retro bright and they've got good results, cool, I mean, I'll congratulate you. You know, this, I'm, I know that retro bright gives results. I know that sun bright gives results. But my argument is, at what cost? You know what I mean? That's the part which I'm, the point which I'm making. Retro bright, I'm not anti. I'm anti sun bright. You know. And that's my opinion. That's my opinion and it's a well-researched opinion. Because I got a little bit of abuse for in the comment section the last time, you know, some of it which I deleted because, you know, there's really no need for that. And it actually is interesting that I, got, I get abuse for just voicing and well-researched opinion on just thinking twice, just encouraging people to kind of think before they do it's your equipment you can stick it out in the sun on deck chairs you know whatever you want to do my point is think a little bit do a bit of reading around do a bit of research see some alternative information that's my point otherwise do what you wish at the end of the day <laughs> you know so for that i got flack it's basically it's almost like they're saying don't think for yourself. Take it from, you know, this one one person, one couple of people said, you know, oh, I see Mr. Mr. Sunshine, Sunshine, <laughs> as an authority figure. And you should see him as an authority figure too. Go watch his videos. He's good. And see him as an authority figure just like I do. Piss off. I'm not seeing anybody as an authority figure. I don't care how big of a YouTube he, YouTuber he is. I'm not seeing anybody as a freaking authority figure. Why should I? I've got my own brain. I've got my own mind and I do my own research. You know, why should I just take someone's word for it? And that's very suspicious. Why am I being told that this person is a retro authority figure? Actually, nobody owns my love for Amigas or anything else. Nobody owns my passion and my experience from childhood until now, all my creativity that I've done on the Amiga and my love for it, no authority, no one's got authority over it. Why should they? And why should anyone have authority over you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any of these YouTubers as authority figures. And I don't encourage anyone to see me as an authority figure. Have you noticed in my videos, those of you who've been around, but I always say to you, do your own research. Don't just take on board what I'm doing. Do your own research. Because I'm not perfect. And nobody is. Whoever thinks they're perfect has got some serious self-delusional thing going on. You know, I don't want to be responsible for screwing, you know, your computers up. Or anything like this. So I'm very careful with what I say and the advice that I give. And if I'm trying something, always say do your own research so yeah it's very weird that somebody did this like a bit of an agenda going on and it is to not think and just like full-on take these people as you know oh take everything they say as solid stone why so the other thing that happened was you know there's a couple of people saying oh but you painted your case yeah you painted your case, so you're doing what you're doing is just as bad as some writing. Actually, no. There's more research behind painting a darn case. And also, one thing I must, must clarify too is that you know, when you paint your case, yeah, do make sure you get the right paint. You painting on ABS plastic or whatever plastic you're painting on, make sure you get the right paint for that's suited for that plastic. 
you know, once you do that, then it's fine. You know, because I got people like, you know, throwing research papers on me <laughs> after that about pain. No, I was just like... <sighs> Which is kind of like, you know, quite amusing. Uh, because you're supposed to put, re you know, when you research something, when you like find a paper or something, you're supposed to put it in the context. It's all about the context and what it is about. You can just like, you know. <laughs> so, the good thing about the cr constructive criticism and, you know, the challenging of oh, paint. I discussed this with Axel, you know, we had a bit of a discussion about this. And then what happened is he ended up researching it and he's updated the page. So, yeah, I will link the page in the description below as well as linking it. Um, in the comments as well. So yeah, do check that page. Basically what is done is not just used the source which, you know, Mr. Sunshine Authority used, yeah? Not just his source, but numerous other source sources in addition to that. So there is more, you know, there's more to it. So which is, what's wrong with putting an alternative opinion out there? Why should it just be this Mr. Sunshine Authority's opinion? Which makes me suspicious. Why why are other people's opinions being, you know, stifled? So, that's the follow-up. As I said, clarity, you know, I'm not against retro writing, but I'm just not convinced at the long-term effects of it. And that's my opinion. And that's the opinion of Axel. And that's the opinion of whoever else believes in it. it doesn't make us haters. It's a very black and white way of seeing this. If you want to do that to your computer, then, you know, if you want to do um, retro writing, do it. If you want to do sun writing, actually, no, that I find hard to say do it. But it is your choice. It's your computer's funeral. So, yeah. Go ahead. You know, you paid for it. It's your childhood computer or it's your whatever computer it is. But no one should be hurling abuse or anything. And either myself or Axel or anybody else. Something's wrong if someone is hurling abuse and making me worship this Mr. F Sunshine Authority guy. That's very suspicious. Those comments were really weird. And I don't... I'm not comfortable with this. What sort of... It makes me more suspicious. What sort of weird movement is going on here? You cannot think for ourselves? And we, should, we are discouraged to think for ourselves? Why? Anyway. Take what you will from all this. I'm gonna go and test my Mi 500 now. I guess that's done with the IPA evaporate. chill a little. Once um, it's evaporated, I will connect the keyboard, connect the floppy drive, and then just try it out. Okay, so first test, I've just connected the keyboard, floppy drive, and that's it. Let's just see if it turns on. Okay, looking good, looking promising. Yep, drive is clicking, everything is fine. Give it a reset. Good. Okay, so let's turn this off and put the RAM expansion in there because I want to test the games out. So let's do the buggy boy test. I'm going to do a soaking test. On this. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> it is something buggy boy works. Don't know why I keep choosing buggy boy to be honest, but okay, so let's try something a little bit more taxing than buggy <laughs> boy. What I'm gonna do after this? is just keep a demo on it for a while, like a Venge demo Reckless or something. And just keep it running for like about an hour or something like this. And you know, sock test, 
see if it's open. Yay, it's working! I'll miss this music. I'm heard this for a little while because I always heard the CD the CD32 soundtrack more recently. So I kind of miss this one. I like the CD32 soundtrack. It's actually it's actually amazing. But is but it's the only test thing I could find out there so if anyone knows any others do let me know that's one thing I've noticed about advanced Amiga analyzer It'll, the test will just keep going and going until you press end <laughs> it's a bit weird it should have an option to kind of just stop yes and test Pass. Okay, this is the test pass audio test seems fine and there's been no crashes so far so it seems to work all good now so it's just like my Commodore 64 you know a couple of years ago now it's been a while uh, I recapped one of my Commodore 64s and before recapping a couple of my tapes it's like a select few tapes that just refused to actually load up they just kept getting tape errors or something like this and there was literally no way to get them to load but after recapping about all of them except for one just loaded without a problem and now this after recapping all the errors the crashes everything have stopped you know so it just goes to show recapping makes a difference I've proven it twice with my experience recapping makes a difference there's a reason why capacitors are in here and of course if they dry up over time it's gonna cause havoc with the system. It just makes sense. <laughs> so that's all there is for today and for this series. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. And um, thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos because there's quite a huge library of them now. And do subscribe for more. Also, a big thank you goes to my patrons uh, for all their support. So for now, I will say adios. Oops. Okay.